Hi guys, my name is Tana. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's practice. Today we have a strong and slow flow for you. It is an intermediate flow, so if you are new to yoga, I will put some more beginner friendly flows below. Uh, so when you're ready, let's start in child's pose at the back of our mat. Just bringing the big toes to touch and reaching the hands out in front of you. Resting your forehead to the mat and just taking a few moments to stop before we start and settle into how your body's feeling today. And tuning into the rhythm of your breath. Let's take three more breaths here. You're welcome to set an intention for your practice if you want. And feeling that groundedness through your palms. And then look forward and roll your spine up to tabletop position just really nice and slowly root through your hands bringing your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees let's move through a few rounds of cat cow inhale lift the chest curl the tailbone up to the sky exhale round the spine draw your navel in inhale lift the chest stretching the front body open and exhale round the spine one more inhale lift the chest root through your hands and exhale round the spine we'll go straight into it curl the toes under and find your downward facing dog so just taking your time to get there walking out your feet or you might sway your hips from side to side just moving in any intuitive way that feels good warming up the back lines of your legs and rooting down through all four corners of your hands taking a nice connected breath here relax your jaw and then on the end of your exhale step the right foot in between the hands low lunge left knee lowers sweep the hands up to the sky inhale find length exhale float your hands down to the floor and step the left foot forward to meet the right coming to a halfway lift you can place your hands on your shins and really elongate the, elongate the spine lifting the heart space to the front exhale fold forward over your legs inhale halfway lift root through your feet and energetically draw the thighs apart step the right foot behind you Andreasana low lunge right knee lowers biceps towards your ears elongate the spine and energize your arms inhale exhale lower the hands down to the floor and step it back to downward facing dog lifting the hips up and back really taking your time enjoying that sense of connection to your breath and the rootedness through your feet and your hands start to elevate the right leg up to the sky in a three-legged dog and then open up that hip draw your heel towards your sit bones you might look under your right armpit and just breathe into that side Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands, find a low lunge. Sweep the hands up to the sky and keep your back toes curling under. Reaching up, drawing your navel in, press into both feet and rise up into a high lunge. Draw your tailbone down. And then we'll split the hands, reaching the right hand behind you and the left hand in front of you. Inhale, open up the heart space to the right side exhale bring the hands back to center and find your warrior two to the side press into the outer blade of that foot find the connection to your breath and then start to straighten out the right leg 
Turn on your thighs, energizing both of the thighs and the legs, and tilt the sit bones to the back, finding a triangle pose. Stacking your shoulders, grounding the outer blade of that foot and lifting the inner arch of the foot. Feel the opening in the side body and the hips. On the end of your exhale, press into both feet, rising back up and slowly swivel forward to an arrow lunge, reaching your arms out in front of you and drawing your heart closer towards the right thigh. Inhale, holding here. Try to energize your back leg as much as you can. And exhale, shifting the weight forward into the right leg. Warrior three, palms into the chest. Feel the warmth and the firmness in between your hands. Flex your left foot. And really nice and slowly, with as much control as you can, draw your left knee into your chest, finding your one-legged mountain pose, and reach the hands up to the sky. Inhale, biceps towards your ears. Feel the energy up your spine and your legs. And then you can straighten out that leg if it's in your practice, otherwise you can keep it bent. Feel that start to fire up through the leg for one more breath. Beautiful, bring the palms into the center of the chest and start to send that left leg behind you, coming back into your warrior three. Elevate the chest slightly, root through your right foot and step it back to a high lunge. Reach the hands up and over, elongate the spine. Exhale. Float the hands down to the floor and find your three-legged dog reaching that right leg up. Find the connection to your breath. And then step the right foot outside of your right hand, finding your lizard. Lift the chest. Try to keep that left knee off of the floor. Breathing into your hips. Take a breath and then step the right foot behind you, plank pose, root through your hands, draw your navel in, find the connection to your core, hold here for breath. And then bend the elbows to the outer ribs, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting the hips up high and drawing the heels low. Come back to your center. And then elevate the left leg off the floor, three-legged dog. Open up your hip and root through the right foot. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Exhale, straighten out the leg. Step in between your hands. Low lunge, right knee lowers. Energize the arms upwards. Sinking those hips forwards and down. Hug your thighs together, press into both feet and rise up into your high lunge. Drawing your navel in, split your hands, right hand reaching in front of you, left hand behind you. Feel the collarbones broaden. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands back to center and warrior two to the side. Keep drawing your navel in and upwards and feel that lift in the pelvic floor as the crown of the head and the spine draws upwards. Take a rooted breath here. And begin to straighten out your front leg, squeeze your buttocks and find your triangle shape. Maybe you might look up towards your fingers, draw your kneecaps up, really hugging the muscles to the bone. On the end of your exhale, rooting down through the feet, rising back up, swiveling forward, arrow lunge, reaching those arms out in front of you, as if you're reaching for something, keeping the energy flowing in that back leg, all the way from your heel, up your leg, up your spine, out through the arms. Let's take one more breath here. Just becoming aware of the breath. Bring the palms into the center of the chest and shift the weight forward, warrior three. Picking that back leg up, draw your navel in. 
squeeze your buttocks and really nice and slowly with as much control as you can draw that right knee into your chest one-legged Tadasana you can keep the hands on the hips or otherwise extend them up to the sky root through the left foot and straighten out that right leg don't worry about the height of the leg it might be over here just keep it nice and active so you're really hugging the thighs and then kneecaps up inhale for one more breath beautiful bring the palms back into the chest and send the right leg behind you warrior three take a breath here feel the strength in the body High lunge, nice and slowly and controlled, stepping it back, reaching the hands up and over, drawing your navel in, really connecting to the core. Float your hands down to the floor, framing off the left foot and send that left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Press into the hands and draw your heart towards that right thigh. And then looking forward, stepping the left foot outside of the left palm, Finding your lizard shape, lift the chest. Exhale, step the right foot forward to meet the left in a malasana squat, a yogi squat, with the heels in, toes out. Bring the palms into the chest and feel the little bit of traction as the elbows draw into the thighs, elongating the spine. Take a breath. Exhale, find a standing forward fold, heel toeing your feet together, bending the knees a lot and just melting the heart over the thighs. Inhale to a halfway lift, lift the chest, extend the spine. Exhale, step it back to downward facing dog, root through your hands, find the connection through the breath. Elevate the left leg off the floor three-legged dog and then step outside of your left hand side angle reach the right hand up and over and really draw your navel in so you're rooting through the feet and wrapping everything in towards the midline inhale feel the energy up your arm keeping that left leg bent start to shift the weight forward into a half moon shape cupping the fingertips on the floor reaching that right hand up and over Root through your left foot. And then begin to lower the right hand to the floor and reach the left hand up to the sky. Reverse moon. You can bend the standing leg if you need. Take one more breath here. Beautiful, nice and slowly stepping it back to a low lunge. Lift the chest. And then drop that right knee to the floor and find a half split straightening out the left leg and maybe drawing your heart closer towards that left leg if you want to take it a bit further and play you can reach the hands out in front uh, behind you rather draw your navel in so you're nice and connected to the core beautiful long breaths here swiveling forward low lunge Exhale, step it back to plank. Vinyasa, chaturanga to up dog. Press into your hands, lift the chest forwards. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back, melting your heart towards your, le your legs and your thighs. On the end of your exhale, elevate the right leg up to the sky then step outside of your right hand, finding your side angle, left hand reaches up and over. Root through both of your feet and really turn that back leg on. Feel the opening. Look towards your right foot, shift the weight forward into that right leg, finding your half moon shape, cupping the fingertips on the floor and pressing all four corners of the right foot into the ground to get that grounding try to stack the shoulders inhale exhale lower the left hand to the floor right hand reaches up 
finding that twist. Find the connection to the core here. This will really help you stabilize. Take one more breath here. And then slowly step it back to a low lunge. Lift the chest. Dropping the left knee down to the floor. Find your half split shape. Inhale. And exhale. If you did so on the other side, you're welcome to reach those hands behind you. Flexing that right foot, really getting nice and deep into the hamstring. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down to the floor. Lower that right foot down and slide your left knee under the right leg. So you're grounding both of your sit bones. And then wrap the left hand around the right thigh, draw it into the chest and take a twist over to your right. Finding that sense of rootedness in the shape as we really try to bring the twist into the whole spine. And unravel back to center and change sides, left foot outside of right. Make sure that both of your buttocks are on the floor. Wrap your right hand around the left thigh and take a twist to your left. Just placing that left hand on the earth behind you. Feeling the collarbone broaden. And feeling your breath slow down. Inviting that sense of ease, of awareness. Travel back to center and find a comfortable, normal cross-legged seat. So just placing one foot in front of the other, rooting down through your sit bones. Let's reach the hands up to the sky and exhale, fold forward over both of your legs. Again, try to find the rootedness through your sit bones, anchoring down and feel the openness in the back body. Take two nice connected breaths here. Maybe thinking about how you'd like your day to unravel or what kind of energy you'd like to bring into the day or the evening. And start to roll your spine back up. And let's bring the palms into the center of the chest and take a nice breath together before you finish off. Inhale in through the nose and exhale, let it go through the mouth. Bow your head to your heart. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. I hope you enjoyed and please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean a lot. I put videos up here on YouTube every week, at least once or twice a week. So yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Ciao.